That's a really good question. I thought, I thought about wearing it, wow. you know, like, uh, like, you know, bling. Um, Thank you, wrestling. Pretty good. Thank you. you know, yeah. Frank Castle is in my bones. You know, like Frank Castle is in my bones. Like, you know what? I, I can't look at this. Damn. I saw him and he saw me too. I wanted to ask, was Saved by the Bell, was that like, did it feel like at one point everyone in the world just knew who you were like overnight? Or was that like kind of a gradual fame that that kind of gathered for you? Yeah, I feel like at that age, it felt very much like overnight. I remember specifically, we actually started touring uh, the States and um, it was usually either Mark Paul and I by ourselves or we would have the whole entire cast. Those are my dogs, by the way, sorry. They were let up and they weren't supposed to. I thought there was applause. It actually sounded like applause when you said Mark Paul. Like, I'll help <laughs> no, it's, that. Their, it's their <laughs> collar. I think they're shaking or whatever. Yeah, I'll be texting my husband going, you forgot to leave the gate closed. Um, but uh, but it was, we started touring and doing like mall tours, like literally like signage you know with a bunch of you know kids who watched the show and that was the first moment when i saw that crowd of people of kids with mark paul um that i was like oh wow there's a lot of people that watch this show it was it was overwhelming i have to say i mean you know i was 15 16 years old 15 16 at this time you know we had just started the show maybe maybe two seasons at that point um and it was it was a lot it was a lot i mean you know like they had security people there you know i would have like a drink of water you know or a snack or whatever and kids would want to take it you know as a as like a token or something it was just it was very strange to me where i was coming from junior high where kids you know were horrible and mean and like would pick on you or say horrible things and then you've got a group of, you know, 5,000 kids who are all wanting your autograph, you know, it's just, it's very, it's very strange at, at first, you know, um, right. so it definitely felt very overnight. Um, and then it grew because then we got syndicated and then it started going into all these other countries, which is why I ended up traveling through all these other countries because of the show. Were you guys kind of able to lean on each other as a support system? Because there's no, when you're a young actor, there's no sub, like handbook for how to handle all this stuff. And I'm sure it could be alarming. Yeah, it was very alarming. I mean, I, I credit my parents a lot for it, um, for sure. They're very, um, you know, I, my parents keep me grounded still to this day, you know? Um, so I credit a lot of that to my parents, but we definitely had each other's back as well. I mean, we were all going through this, together and and none of us had like huge success beforehand so this was new for all of us um and we became very close we were we were like brothers and sisters i mean truly um and there was a lot of firsts for a lot of us you know a lot of stuff and you know going through you know school on set together so we actually were literally doing school together even though like our our schools were separated but our work together was always on set together and so we somewhat had like a classroom together that we were all doing school um, and then going to work and on stage and and then, you know, traveling and all that kind of stuff. So it was, yeah, we, we definitely, um, I felt very protected in that sort of group that we had, you know, and we still have that sort of relationship now.